Yeah, we played uh, three different groups, um, just to, and we incorporated first team USL, PDL, and academy players. So it was good to blend um, different players from from the different teams that we have here. And then, um, you know, we the the beginning of the game we played a, a group that'll start on Wednesday, and it was a good sort of little trial tactical run for for what what. Uh, what we think Wednesday will be like, so that was good. And and then uh, you know Ecuador's a good team; they're athletic. Uh, they closed down space quickly. It was a fast game. It was a good game. So it was a really good exercise for us. Was anyone held back or unable to go because of either USL earlier last week or injuries or anything? No, I else? think you know uh, pretty much everybody that we would have you know Damian Parnell wasn't quite ready yet, but you know everyone else participated and it was good. Good exercise. We didn't necessarily hear um, if Kamara's back or the status of his injury. Do you have an update on him? Kamar is back. Um, he's visited a, a couple of doctors, and he's with our doctors this morning. So I think by this afternoon we'll have a consensus as to how long and what the next steps are. Um, I don't think it's going to be too long, no, no matter what winds up happening. I think it, you know, it, it'll it'll hopefully be around the four week range. Of course, uh, once again, it's Open Cup season, and uh, you're going to take a trip to Western New York to take on the Rhinos. What concerns you against this team, and what have you consulted with John Walnut because he does run the USL yeah. side? Yeah. Well, we first of all we th we think very highly of Rochester. They're the USL champions. Um, they haven't lost at Rochester in 25 games at home. So you know I think this is the worst draw we could have gotten. Um, so we know we're in for a total battle going there. Um, we're going to put a good team on the field. This. Tournament means a lot to us. We're going to put everything we have into it, and we can ex we know we can expect a good team that's going to make us earn everything. So, um, not not easy, but you know we're looking at it as a positive to sort of coming out of the break to really make sure that our mentality's right and that it'll set us up for the stretch of runs and games that we the run of games that we have coming up. So, um, won't be easy, but it'll be good. What about um, their coach, Bob Lilly? What have you seen from his tactics, like in the scouting or some of these streams? Yeah, they're, they're very compact defensively. They rely on the counter and they rely on set pieces a lot. Uh, Bob Lilly was a coach in Montreal, so I've never met him, but I've heard a lot about him. Um, it'll be good to meet him. Um, but they're an organized team. You know, they're hard to play against. They don't give up a lot of goals. They didn't give up a lot of goals last year. They don't give up a lot of goals at home. And they're athletic and they're dangerous. So... You know, those are types of things that always challenge the way we play. So, you know, I think the game that we we can't be fooled by possession at certain moments and that we have to understand what kind of game they want to have and, and like to be in and, and understand that it won't be easy. Have you, got, have you been pleased with the way your team has been coming along across the long break? Yeah, I think we used it really well. I think <clears throat> I was just speaking with the staff, uh, you know, yesterday that, we feel really good about where we're at mentally and physically, and we feel like we've recharged in a lot of good ways and, and added some fitness. And so, you know, we've got a tough stretch of games coming up, but I, th I expect our team to, in all ways, be ready to push. So I think we've used the break in a good way. How strong in terms of first-team regular MLS guys do you think we'll see on Wednesday? Yeah, we'll see a lot. Of, I mean, there'll be a lot of our regular guys out there. Um, you know, we're, we're going to give – uh, uh, you know, few younger guys or a few guys who are, are now getting themselves going an opportunity to be in the lineup as well. But it's going to be a really good team and, and a lot of our regulars.